They played us like a damn fiddle! Oh my god, that was ours. <laughs> they didn't have the right to take it. Give it back. Bitch. <laughs> Bitch. Oh god. Fiddle. <laughs> so yeah, guys, have any of you guys out there played Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes? I don't want to go this way. <laughs> it's the only way out. Is it? No, there was another door. It's like three other doors. It felt I, like... I thought that would lead us deeper in, but... Whatever. We came through that door. That one. We haven't been through this one. It's uncharted territory. It's uncharted four territory. But that per that game lost its writer and game director. Yeah, I hate to say it, but it seems kind of effed. That's eh, not true. Uncharted three wasn't that good. It was I. Right. I liked it. Two yeah. was better. Two eh. was fantastic. Two was amazing. I played two so much that, like, it's lost its charm. Yeah, like, looking back at you, like, eh. Yeah, two was good. I did like the desert parts, like the part where you just get stranded and you have, like, the hallucinations. Yeah, that was great. Like, that was really good. Yeah, it was visually impressive. These things. I like falling out of the airplane. That was fun, yeah, too. Yeah, that was the part I meant. <laughs> I look in here, right? Yes, you uh, did. That was great. They fiddled us like a damn play. <laughs> And taking us and like uh, fighting the Ghost Riders. Uh huh. Fuck that part, dude. That was stupid. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Was There's always supernatural elements to Uncharted games. Always. Mm hmm. Why Except were the... For the Vita one? In the first one, you fight zombies. Yep. In the second one, you fight Yetis. I thought those were blueberry pancakes. You fight Yetis and like blue. Fuck it, I'm ignoring them. Yeah, might as well. I need to look at chest. You fight, you fight Yetis and like those blue uh, Aztec dudes. Mm-hmm. And then Lazarevich becomes immortal. Yep. And that then we kill him by hitting giant blueberries. Yep. Mm-hmm. It made oh, sense. Oh shit! How am I gonna get past this? <laughs> Many said it was an unnecessary boss fight. It was all right. Well, I mean, like in today's like gaming world, boss fights are becoming very scarce. Yeah. No. Like, the best, the game that has had the best boss fights in a long time has, obvi has honestly been Metal Gear Rising. Yeah. Like, we have were phenomenal. We, what was the last, like, game with the boss fight we actually seen? Games with boss fights are usually traditional type games, such as action games. Yeah. Platformers. Oh my god, that did so much yeah. fucking damage. Oh, damn! <laughs> but, uh... You can consider certain things a boss in other games. I mean, the last of us didn't have a definite boss. I mean, a traditional boss, not a man who wants to rape Ellie, and not like a generic enemy that's just really strong. So yeah, it's not a boss. Traditional mm -hmm. like final boss. We've worked all this way to kill you, bitch. Kind of boss. So games like Metal Gear Rising, yeah. Sly Cooper, yeah, Infamous, ah, Second Son, yeah, I guess so. Because, like, you've known she was a bad person since, like, mm -hmm. the start of the game. So, yeah, I guess Second Son works. You know... I uh, never mind, I completely forgot. Uh, uh, okay, let's think before Infamous Second Son. We did. Yeah, I mean, let's keep giving... Lords of Shadow 2. Lords of Shadow 2. Uh, Arkham Origins. Arkham Origins, yeah. Arkham Origins. Oh... You know what our uh, next month's PlayStation Plus game is? No. Arkham City. Oh, uh, yeah, you said that. It's a shame that we all have it, though. Oh, well. Uh, I assume Phantom Pain's going to have traditional boss fights. Oh, yeah. of course. This Metal Gear. It has yeah. to. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd be quite shocked if it didn't. I want Code Talker to float around like Dawson. <laughs> Um, Why are these things dancing? <laughs> Do you think you will then not have boss fights? Probably. Hey. Since it's Shinji Mikami. Yeah, he does enjoy himself some boss fights. Did Horizon 3 have boss fights? Yes, it did. It did, it did. But psychopaths are like psychopaths. <laughs> yeah, but... They can't, they count as bosses, though. They have life bars and you fight them. And they're yeah, and they're difficult. really tough. Yeah, I guess so. You fight a fucking astronaut in this one, dude. That's it's great. It's the reason I want an Xbox One, but then I keep going like that. 
It'll be the same thing with my PS4. I, I barely have anything to play on it. Well, if you keep waiting, you'll have things to play. Yeah. God, I can't wait for freaking August. Evil Within. Nope. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have been without a, a good survival horror game for mm. too long. Am I lost? Yeah. I think you might be lost. Wait. It's been about four years now? Maybe five? Since a, since a really good survival horror game? Oh, six, seven. I don't remember. It's been almost a decade. Uh, I'm going our way. No, I can just go. F I can just go from here. Let's see. You're not talking indie games. Oh yeah, no, no. So we can't count out last. Uh, the last survival horror game I could say I truly had fun with was the first Dead Space. I did enjoy the first Dead Space. I can't remember. Over one. Like, what was the problem? What was the problem with two? Two it. It leaned more in uh It was too action for you. It leaned a little bit more in t into the action area. Though it had cooler, like when it tried to do scary, it did do them in a cooler fashion. But like the rest was just like... The atmosphere wasn't as uh, as good as the issue more. Yeah, but le let's say this. Uh, in Dead Space, there'd be a room of dead bodies and like some of them would come to life and like try and kill you and like the game would fuck with you. Mm -hmm. And two, there'd be a room of dead bodies as you're falling through space, whirling out of control in a spaceship, and you're trying to press a button in time to save your ass. Yeah. There are moments like that. See what I mean? I feel you. I feel you, man. I feel you deeply. Arkham Asylum was a good survival horror game. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What? I knew that was coming. Oh, great. I forgot about that thing. I'm gonna kill it. Alright, let's, let's kill it then. <laughs> this little crab wall. To think, this giant thing has that little pitter-patter as a walk sound. Die, demon. You did not belong in this world. This is the first boss of two arms, isn't it? Uh, I think so. Yep. It's not the same robot, but well, it's the same kind. It it's is a reseller. The, it's the same kind of robot. It is a lot of damage. Just, you know... Recolors. I knew you can kill it. My favorite recolor is the one with the colors. I mean, like, <laughs> recolors was a really <laughs> an easy way out back in the day. Yeah. Some people still do it. Mm hmm. Nice. <laughs> that was fucking stupid. That was. Alright, that, that totally made sense. You got, a, you got a lot of those things, though. Yeah, at least, you know, you may be injured, but hell, we're kind of rich. There was nothing. There we go. It tried to poop at you. It, it tried to poop on you, man. That's very, very unsettling. Why do enemies are why are enemies trying to poop on me? I hate the word poop. It's just. I know it's Would you rather I say feces? Uh, you can't feces on somebody. <laughs> How about crap? Defecate. Does, does crap work? <laughs> let's not talk about. <laughs> let's just go. Let's just go the whole mile and say shit. It tried to shit on you. Okay. <laughs> Can't be good people on this on this channel. <laughs> what the hell? I just. <laughs> but this circle. <laughs> so I guess it's safe to say we're lost, right? No. Go straight. Just go straight for the love of God. We're not lost. We're not an island. All right, if so I have to go through those things again, I will, just to get out of here. We're not via Domus. Just go. I think that's the only way to get out of here, honestly. So just just do it, man. Let's just leave. Can't you no, I know, I know, that, I, I know, I know, I know what I can do now. Let's go home. It'll, it'll take me a shortcut to the city. We spent too much time on this island. I was just in this area, but... The plot stopped making sense a season ago. A but I can just season go. ago? Yes. It was more like two. Yeah, all right, fine. That was audible. Yeah, I love living next to a busy road. Just makes my life as a as a let's player just so pleasant. much more interesting and pleasant. Hey, one day one of these guys is gonna stop and be like, "Hey, I have a flat tire. Can you help me out?" I just hope for like whatever reason, just like this this road just becomes like. Two hazards to drive by, and they just like rip it up. <laughs> but then, how would you leave? That we'll build a much smaller road. 
with tiny roads inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> a road compartment? <laughs> yes. It'll look like a road you built with Legos. <laughs> I just think I win this Ah, dude. Just because you don't want to... Just cause fuck, you, just fuck. cause you don't want to face the tiny concrete slabs. We spent ten minutes on this. I mean, you keep trying to find an alternate way. I mean, I'm just here to, I'm just here to talk and talk about nonsense. Hey, look! All your meandering found us this rollerboard. So we can shred out of here. All right. Fuck! I'm just gonna go out. I'm just gonna leave the ruins. Let's do that. That'd be useful. If I miss anything, fuck it. I was getting pretty tired of that shit. <laughs> Let us return to the surface. We've been in the dark for too long. My eyes are hurting. My body. Let's go back to our souped up Volkswagen. I'm probably gonna be able to build like a shit ton of items though, so. Mm -hmm. You found like six of them. Let's do this. Yeah. Sweet. I got a machine gun. No! <laughs> okay then. Shit ton of items, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, data, just heal us and save. <coughs> oh, goodness. My mega heart has been crushed. Your mega heart? A mega man needs a mega heart. But he's Volnet, so he has a Volnet heart. But he's still a mega man. But it's a mega Volnet man heart. That makes about as much sense as anything that was said in this part. We said a lot of sensical things in this part. Trying to keep ourselves... Entertain while crawling through dungeons, man. Well, what, you, what do I use the yellow reflector for? Reflector. <laughs> I said reflector. Why don't you talk to roll? Let's go downtown. I'm not talking about downtown, downtown. I'm talking about six feet underground. Let me just go to the city. I got banned from six feet underground. <laughs> Ricky got banned from IGN. <laughs> man, fuck them. <laughs> oh, God. It's because, like... Oh, here we go. Okay. If this offends anyone, I'm sorry. It's not, I'm not saying anything bad. But they had an article. There should be... Why there should be more gay characters in video games. Oh, hey, hello. Hey, Ash. Hey, man. And, like... How you doing? It's right, just... Guys. I don't have a problem if the character's gay or not. I just don't see why it should fucking matter. I mean, I don't play a game to express my sexuality. I mean, when you get down to it, it really does not make sense. Like, it doesn't matter if my character is gay, straight, black, white, blue, <laughs> fucking blind, it doesn't matter. Yeah, like I said, well, like I always say, you know, sure there aren't enough, like, gay people, women, and stuff represented as main characters, mm -hmm. but, like, what would be the point, you know? Unless it's some huge damn plot point, not just something subtle. Yes. Yeah, it's n like, unless your gayness is going to help save the world, I don't think anybody cares, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. For real. So, like, it shouldn't really matter. I can, be I can get behind that. You know, to stop, stop getting on and feminist and gay rights bandwagons just because, you know, it seems like the moral thing to do. Oh, well, that'll help out a lot. And... Just keep gaming as gaming, you know. There are just some parts that are made for guys. There are games with strong female leads, mm -hmm. but they were built around the strong female lead. Yes. So, you know, that's all I have to say. <laughs> that was concise. I'll buy the flag jacket. What does the flag jacket do? It's the fence. Ooh. Yeah, it, um, I'll have to equip it. What shall we equip? The laser. The laser! Why well, accidentally replace something? What? I don't 
think my energy matters right now. I wouldn't know. I'll just keep that so I'll have the range at least. Hmm. Where the fuck did he come from? <laughs> he was always there. <laughs> He's always there watching you. Let me check the refractor. Refractor. Why don't you talk to the mayor, Dr. Light? That's what I'm gonna go do, actually. Where's that bank we all built? <laughs> it's uh, near the mayor's office. <laughs> but, as I was saying, it's just... I don't know, it just seems like IGN would make, it, would make an article like about bitching about Snake if he wasn't gay in the next Metal Gear Solid. Because <laughs> that's what they seem to like to be doing. Well, I mean, it's pretty implicated that he might be bi. <laughs> Yes. Well, no, but you know what I mean. It seems like if, it seems like all of a sudden, if a character, which isn't uh, uh, a non a non real organism, sexual orientation matters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. a a apparently, to IGN. To a lot of people. Yes. Like Patricia Manhands. Oh. <laughs> I think I do have to go back to Flutter. I, I kind of kind of derped. Oh well. We need a police station. Let's donate this money, and then end this part. Okie dokie.